Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Something happened to her. What a difference a day makes. My entire life has been changed in just 24 hours. Not to mention the course of my destiny and Chloe's. This must prove that we're meant to be friends forever. I want proof you can rewind time! The trucker drops his mug. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. I vow to use my powers for good, not evil. What's up, Kate? I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. You're going to be sorry someday. There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. I have to find out what's going on. Hey, what are you hiding there, girly? That's Rachel's bracelet. Give it to me right now, asshole! Please, step back. Put that down. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Listen, everybody remain seated. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. I keep seeing that tornado. And I wonder where all of this is going to end. Back! You have to understand my- Rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. Extraño mas que nunca. I'm not gonna get started. Why not that don't be easy? We got life to do. And apparently that motherfucker's strange. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Hey, Chloe texted you. That bitch Cho Lee? Who the fuck is Cho Lee? <sighs> Which is outside in the Do dorms. not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I I'll just saw Jocelyn's cabaret. Ow! <laughs> oh. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. toilet paper that Thank you, Max. Just save that bitch randomly coming into the squando. How, what consequences is that? The bitch doesn't get hit by toilet paper. Cool. Just how she thinks of you. Club are such oh, you knew the toilet I'm paper was coming. Oh, they think that she can see the future is what they're going to freaking think, right? Where's the, where, where's the fucking shower? Is it over here? Because I know it's supposed to wipe something off the mirror. Yeah, you were literally just there. Showers. We got Kate crying over here. I remember you. What's up, little bitch? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Could you Thanks imagine again for standing if I was the voice yesterday? in her head and she could hear I what we were saying? Mm. Don't call Kate Anytime. a bitch. That guy Did has you issues. call me a bitch? <laughs> like... Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max. Do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely, I'll bring it by later. Thank you, let's close that up. No, camera out. Jesus. You just see shoulders, that's it. This is bullshit, bro. I don't want to see any parts of this little bit shower. Well, you gotta stay in there to see what happens next. What I gotta do? 
What's up, Kate? Uh oh. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. Oh my god. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. We're <laughs> uh, going to what? be sorry someday. Tongue record? Oh, What's boo that mean? I'm sorry you're a viral slut. She I'm was, sure she had I think fun. she was recorded, like, Looks like it. a bunch of dudes. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Sister. Yup, yeah, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. Minions? We ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, Bitch, I won't rely you call, on you or Courtney you for help. You can hang out with Kate. Yeah. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Who would put a link? Oh, that's what you want me to erase. <laughs> that's what you want me to erase, right? The link to Kate's video? Yeah. Nope. Fuck that shit. What? No. Yeah, bro. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, it is up to you, so. Viral, bro. It is up to you, so. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. All right, bitch, put on clothes. Not in front of me. I mean. Private you... number. Keep your smart mouth shut or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. What do you mean about everything? Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. The water just like no water. time has passed. Water. The plant's name is Lisa. Ah, uh, that's my mom's name. Drink up. I can bring you so back. So that's one thing. I hold that, the power over life itself. That's one thing that you can't like rewind time to fix because her power is more for short, short term, not for long term, right? Fix what? Like uh, something like a dead plant because you don't water it. Like you can't go back and try to save the plant because you can only go back a short term deal. Whereas, yeah, for the most part, she can only do short. Except for the very end of the game, where she goes back to choose whether she can either save or, or let Chloe die. Because I know that's yeah, what this whole thing is about. You didn't you get the powers find, until then. You gotta uh, find uh, Kate's, Kate's room. room yeah. It should be on the left side. I'm very good at at, uh, at like guessing plots of, of uh, stuff, and I don't think. Kate. Oh, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Romulus? I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm, I'm, you're gonna watch Romulus? I've never heard of that. What is it? I'd be interested. Um, uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this Vortex sucks, Kate, club. but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. How? And I have How no memory of it. How do you make out with it. more than... Oh, shit. She has no memory of it. So she was drugged. It doesn't sound like you. 
I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Uh, Nathan really? Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving uh, for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Oh, and what the fuck he ejected? And and that's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. We'll figure it out. I'll All check right, back later, this okay? Is the line to the time of the party. <laughs> Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Max, you haven't actually been rewinding time. You've been creating alternate universes and then entering into those instead. Oh, uh, do you notice how she covered the mirror up? Anna. Yeah? I'm Vito and you fucking that David guy. talking to Nathan cannot okay. be a good thing. Strange soundtrack. Yes. And this sounds like something from Twilight too. How many hipster beards do you think are in the Life is Strange soundtrack? In the members of all the bands? At least 25. Yeah, at least. That's a good least. What's the most? Everyone. You have a good understanding of it. I respect that. You could have a hipster beard too, Marco. My beard is not a hipster beard, it's the beard of a black man. <laughs> Basically, a magnet for women, but also a uh, don't try to take it from me. It's a deterrent for bitch motherfuckers. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Oh, this dude, a killer. This dude could be the killer too, bro. Oh yeah, you remember him, right? There's a homeless woman back here. Up, young Hello. 
Oh, look at you. Damn. A fine example Homeless of you. Homeless women would not last I very bet long. you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. No, no, no. She knows about Blackswell. Is what she's saying. She I doesn't bet know anything you about have dirt on the Prescott There's family. There's a theory. That Someone whole came up with a theory that this dirty. homeless woman is they like once an alternate done version good of Chloe. For Acadia Bay. Is what? Those days are dead. An alternate version like of anything Chloe. Anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by it's a It's just a theory, though. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family. Well, Chloe especially now got the law. travel Hell, power. they own your travel. school, Blackwell, almost. Does she get it from the butterfly? Uh, it's just a theory. I have to go now. Goodbye. Talk to that homeless bitch more. Hi, I'm back again. Sure looks that way. Or Joyce Katie Price Bay. is... Okay, well Joyce How Price is Chloe's mom. How long have you lived in Katie Bay? Mm. A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Word what changes? changes? Mm -hmm. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Ask about JP. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. I can ask about Come Chloe. Come talk to me any old time you want. Oh, never mind. Family. I guess you can't. What about this motherfucker in, uh, uh, right here? Him. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Yeah, what? Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? So why Excuse me. So there's no body. I have to read that's my horoscope. That's why they don't consider it a murder, right? This bitch is dead, though. Everyone is saying that she ran away. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. And you gotta make sure you have somebody that can be like, this person did not run away. Man, that smell of she breakfast and the sound you know of I mean? clanging silverware. Actually, Makes me feel 13 police again. Work. Police will be like, yeah, well, it's cool that you think that. But Look at this. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Wow, bro. That graffiti has been here forever. Piss before flushing. Gross. Rachel owes me a BJ. I bet Chloe wrote that. Cho Lee. So, Yo, so does away, your mom. Thank you, redneck poet. This guy has serious cojones. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. 
I might make Chloe check this out with me. Who changes gun, honestly? The poster Train. doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Just their whack students? Like Hello there to you! Pussy? Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, Fuck eh? That bitch. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Right. You better calm your ass down before you get these You never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught so a lot funny of good if she was talking to like a chick. Now let me warn you. <laughs> Still mourning. She's like, excuse Thank me? <laughs> like, Hello, away. there's a cop. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Black man, as a cop, you look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie. So when the white cops cheese. tell you to stomp on the N-word's face, do you say so okay, master, you know or do you say Sadly, do it? we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. Damn, you're By the way, hella. one thing I can tell you for certain I mean, yeah, is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's Frank. all I can say for now. It's probably I should finish up my coffee and get to work. That'd be too fucking obvious. I don't feel like talking right now. Who the fuck is you? I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. About to deliver a load of dick to your uh, ass after hello? the picture. Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. The fuck are you looking at? That's better than looking at me. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly yeah. like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Anyway, here's Chloe. She's coming here in a second. Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Drool. Want everything. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like I'm still take the controller great. back now if you do not Last mind. save, kid. I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about, and she's not even in school anymore. So. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One 
one bacon omelet for the young. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Oh, hold on. Let's see here. Crab cakes. Random as fuck. Hash browns. I mean, they sell fish. Bacon. I mean, or it's like a fish area. A, you know, or seafood area. I would guess. I don't see fish. Maybe that's because there's breakfast. Maybe that's just because there's breakfast. Yeah, Big their prices bacon, are very omelet. reasonable. Latest app. I might have well, to order two. I don't know how big they are. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Can I get some beef? The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Baking before I die. This is a diner, not a. Oh bomb. yes, black coffee. You will be mine. It looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Order ready. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. I think and the most annoying thing about her is that, that crazy she thinks fucking she's unique. Come but on, that's like such a daydream. I want proof like you can move on time. That are all punk rock and this is all happening our, so fast. We'll start does. slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. So you gotta, Impress you gotta me. look at everything in her pockets and remember them. Wait, when that comes up. Let's see. A gun? I left it in the car. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Cigarette. That was beyond epic fail. Cigarette. You made me want to believe it. You gotta count the change. You gotta look at the time on the parking ticket. You need look to at look at the detail. item. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. How many cigarettes are in there? Seven. Seven cigarettes. Oh, uh, fuck me. What's that? Uh, 86. 86? Are those quarters? 86? Yeah, those are quarters. Two quarters. Oh, three quarters, so that's 80. Yep. Eight. This is the ticket. Hey, that's the day before your birthday, 921. It is the day before my birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. 
So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? A parking ticket. You know me well. But? What is the exact time I was busted? Oh, uh, fuck, what was the time? 10.34. Yep. 10.34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Well, it was a panda, right? Yeah. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh, and now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. It wasn't done yet. Oh, goddamn it. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next. 30 seconds or so. Oh, they said it differently, so we don't know. Uh, cop drops his glass. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um, with the cop. What happened? The cop answers. Which one is it? Alert on the his cop. partner radio. leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Just. Mm. Square, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Which didn't happen because you went, you rewinded too early. But now you gotta wait. Oops! Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Slap cool, me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Look at the jukebox. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, so what are you waiting for?
Damn, do I have to do the other ones again? I'm I going to predict. Skip. You can skip dialogue. Oh. So you just gotta the take trucker the and skip. So what happens next? He leaves. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Stop just them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And then the cockroach. You crash so crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Yeah. I didn't see it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Have you ever played this before, Don't bro? even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Answer. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate, I won't forget. I swear, just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. Yeah, see, she stuck around. She didn't leave. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Is that her? That's, I was gonna say, is that her dad? Like, <laughs> is that Chloe's that's dad? That's funny. No. Like I'm back, Chloe. You remember <laughs> me? What the is fuck this is a race? this town? Keep how up. Is there a multi how many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how it's well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust. My home away from hell. Who just has Bra a jacked thing to just hang out in? It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? No. Yes, but... Not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. What? Besides, we you need You don't it for even know what her power is. Drink? Yuck. Yes, she you does. so cute. She knows she's in trouble. A bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? If she leaves, I want to come back in one second and be like, I have everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Max. She didn't even comment how fucking fast I got there. No. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first.
Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Shoot the bumper. She gets shot if you shoot the bumper, I think. Well, Max? Put a real <sighs> dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! gun! Hold on, Chloe. Alright guys, that's the gameplay. Yeah. Chloe died. <laughs> Jesus, oh, yeah. I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. <laughs> she instantly blamed the gun. It's not the gun, it's the dumb bitch over here. Max? Okay, you're too busy to help, so I'm gonna kill- Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom! Are definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Shoot Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for really? the left tire? Dude, I need. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass. You guys better run for cover! Yet the bottle remains. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. <laughs> Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe.
Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Shoot his ass. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. You Don't rewind, ever pull I crap think. like this again. It'll be the last I can definitely time. Rewind. I'm gonna get till, rewind. Try till bullets laughter. next time, brainiacs. Sorry. Just wait, damn. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. I don't want to have to watch all this bullshit again. You can... Let's blow. Forward. My secret lair didn't and, feel secret today. The next time it wouldn't At be At least the Frank same is dialogue. gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. You went to before you got the gun, so you gotta chat Chloe up. And then sh you can skip Are all you that ready dialogue. to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want oh, whenever not. we want. Make me proud, sister. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. Maybe I should. He shoot. just wants his money. Because we keep the gun. Oh man. Frank took so Chloe's you, gun you because of me. Shoot him? Yeah. Keep the gun. I think that's more important. Don't stop. God fucking damn it. Really? Are you ready to do
I think um, Chloe went to the truck or she's by the train tracks. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's brain? Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. Yeah, we both need a timeout. At least you still got the gun. Yeah. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Hung out. You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I hate this bitch I have so no much. doubt we'll meet soon. Hella best Railroad tracks forever. always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Really? Perfect. Ugh! train tracks what am I gonna do really what am I gonna do I better uh, look for something to get come on out. Max hurry should I this train needs to hurry Where's this fucking train? please get me out of here I don't think it actually comes till you start doing shit and find something. Find a tool to cut those wires. Please get me out of here! 
R2 to go faster? No. Like, R2 to move faster. You're pressing L2. the hill. Hurry! Please get me out of here! I can definitely use this bad boy. You gotta use it to open up that little shack. Shit! I can't budget at all! Total MacGyver. <laughs> and then you gotta use that Max. wheel that which was wire to cut. Um, I'm not sure which wire it is. Max, to be Whoa. Short circuit city. Which wire to cut? Get me out of here. Now that's the right cable. And then use the, the wheel that's up there to pull yes! it. No, you can't. I did it. Oh wait, never mind. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Yeah. Now we're I really totally didn't bonded want to, for life. But, you know, animate me. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <sighs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I 
can do some wandering. Sorry, Sir? Ah, hello, Rams. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? I'm sick of this man. There is just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Sir? <coughs> Jesus, you okay? No. There is. Yes, but you were distracted. I can't focus when. Please don't say that. <sighs> I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? It's Probably the not same the same thing. one you see. You won't tell me the truth about. There's David over there. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. Hmm. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Huh, I kind of like this guy. He might not be the killer that everybody thinks. It might be a Snape situation where everybody hates him, but he's Excuse actually... Excuse me. I know things got... No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an ass. You're a combat veteran. If I didn't care about her, I would But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty... Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just... That'll take more than... Sir. It will take more... Isn't that your res... I don't want to... Okay, so it's pretty much the same. I saw I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Where's the lab? So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. No, but... Be honest. Nobody believes me any. Get it. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. 
Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. They what do you say want from me? Again. I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Oh, I see. I'm not important to you anymore. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume See, you know was, about this I viral video? I wanted to take the shot as proof. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Um, no. I saw Nathan with oh. a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. your way of getting attention. That's really mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Where's the lab? Right there. They bring, bring me the brain, me. Igor. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? What you are look we doing, Warren? thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver? Asking me? I have to add either. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking me. Half Daddy. 
I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. So diem it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. I give up. Oh, hey, Warren. Maxwell? Asking me? Have daddy? I have a vision. Godium? Damn it. Hey, Warren. Ha Ask. Have that. I. See? She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Bring me the brain, Igor. Like me. Knock off this martyr. Excuse me, Matt. Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? That's no secret. Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max. Can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this fire. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? No. I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? With all... Rachel was... Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hmm? Uh-huh. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Boom. All right, get Boom. ready for this Boom. next event. Dana, no time you to are talk, out Max. Of control. Posing Turn in left, progress. Then right. Show me the love. How do you think Max? Here comes comes the mysterious you Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws! I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha! <laughs> Assholes. That was that one dude with the gun, right? Nathan Prescott? Yeah, that's Nathan. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. 
I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Rewind again and again. Uh, what the fuck can I do? <laughs> like, I don't know. You gotta make your way upstairs. here so whatever you say is permanent yes all right what do i say to, to make the bitch not jump you gotta try to be as helpful as you can do you want me to look it up no because i don't remember exactly what the dialogue sequence is what are the chances that she falls is it like 50 50 you could choose the wrong thing well oh. you kind of did help her a lot by um, what are you doing you here, Max? You raised the video link, Stop. and then you answered her phone Don't call, come so near that's me. Not now. It won't work. The only thing that she didn't like have is that power. you didn't tell her now to go to the Now I have to cops. do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. I'll try to, like, Kate, I'll try to remember please. as much as I can. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Try to say you matter. You matter, and not just to oh, me. You matter. I do want to believe that. Kate, your You're life is still yours, and we can get through this together. You gotta talk this bitch down, Let Marco. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Um, you're my friend. Of course, I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? 
What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing! Um... I'm gathering proof. Yeah, proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a okay, week. Okay, things are looking good. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Um, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, you. Uh, fuck. Um. Be strong. Be strong is what I was thinking. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. Yay, you got her. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Uh, Forever. Cool. Can we hug you saved on? the bitch. I saved the bitch. No, nobody oh, cares about me. <laughs> nobody. Um, wait, 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 wait. Uh, not the mother. Definitely don't choose the parents. I don't think she has brothers. They sisters. Okay. I saw that yeah. cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. Oh. She does have the best smile Good ever. One. Good one, Anna. I would hate to see her <laughs> sad. Wait, wait, wait! What was in my trash can, bitch? I'll jump right now. It's like a bug. We did it! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Alright, well. That was we a did it. Lame joke. We did it. <laughs> now I know today was oh, difficult. Oh, so you just saving bitches now? But <laughs> I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled what together to save me, a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest, like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I would choose, um, either Nathan or Jefferson. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're planned a liar. field. 
You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Duh, so you can know. use it. I know. Really? Well, no, it's like the game is super like, okay, now you have your power. Like, and they're gonna do this bullshit where some choices aren't gonna be Miss Coffee. to rewind. I mean, do you wanna keep it to be pr stayed? Uh, Nathan? I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right David before Bully class. So he doesn't get fired. Then she ran um, off crying. Mark, I, mean, I do could. know that Miss Marsh that. has I mean, assisted you in class events. Kate, Miss Marsh... I just don't like Nathan. <laughs> ...has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her. Would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video, macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps... you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told yeah, us. He's definitely I'll the killer. continue this investigation from there. What happens if we fucking choose uh, Officer fucking Friendly? I think he gets suspended as well. I'm not, I don't remember, honestly. I usually pick Nathan. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? Junkie? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Oh, if I had the picture. Now, if you have anything else to say... Excuse me. I... Th Please sign here to confirm which... So, do, are you gonna stay with David? I'm gonna stay with Nathan. Nathan? He's a bitch. Sure is. All I know... You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. Do I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. 
I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing, seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Is the end? Yeah, it's like the ending of it. And then it should show you a preview of episode three towards the end. I think he's a good guy, honestly. The killer is the creep. The creep? Who's the creep? Or the, uh, the teacher is the creep. That was the press guy, wasn't it? No, that was uh, the teacher. Pregnant with the teacher's baby. <laughs> or Prescott's baby.